Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, has the most spectacular set of rings in the solar system. We now know that Saturn has 60 moons in addition to its complex ring system. Discover Saturn. Like the inner planets in Jupiter, Saturn is clearly visible in the night sky. The ancient Greeks named the planet after the god of agriculture on time. It wasn't until 1655, however, that we knew Saturn had rings. Galileo saw two lumps on either side of Saturn, but he didn't know what they were. The astronomer Christian Huygens later found out they were rings. Much of what we now know about the second largest planet in our solar system comes from the Voyager spacecrafts. Voyager took closer pictures of Saturn and its rings. They clearly show the large gaps in between the rings called the Cassini Division and Enki Division. Saturn's Interior The giant planets do not have the same layer structure that the terrestrial planets do. Their evolution was quite different than that of the terrestrial planets and they have less solid material. Saturn's interior composition is primarily that of simple molecules such as hydrogen and helium, which are liquids under the high pressure environments found in the interiors of the outer planets and not solids. Motions in the interior of Saturn contribute in a very special way to the development of the powerful and extensive magnetosphere of Saturn. Heat generated within Saturn contributes to the unusual motions of the atmosphere. Saturn's Atmosphere The dramatic appearance of Saturn stems mainly from the spectacular rings. The atmosphere looks much less dramatic. The clouds of Saturn are much less colorful than those of Jupiter. This is because the composition of Saturn's atmosphere includes more sulfur. This adds to Saturn's overall yellow appearance. When you look closely, however, Saturn's atmosphere is just as fierce as that of Jupiter. The atmosphere of Saturn, like Jupiter, is only a narrow region compared to the vast interior of Saturn. The three cloud decks of Saturn are to be found mostly low in the atmosphere, while hazes of smog can be found higher up. Saturn is not much changed from its early evolution out of the primitive solar nebula and in fact may still be forming. Motions in the cloud patterns indicate that, like Jupiter, the basic weather of Saturn can be described as a striped pattern of winds. Saturn's Magnetosphere Saturn's magnetosphere is not as big as Jupiter's, but it is still pretty big. It is big enough to hold all of Saturn's moons. It is probably made the same way as is Jupiter's, which affects its overall shape and structure. The shape is also affected by the fact that Saturn's moon, Titan, does not contribute a very large cloud to the magnetosphere. The rings of Saturn definitely affect the motion of particles in the magnetosphere. Saturn's magnetosphere produces beautiful aurora as well as strong radio signals and other waves such as Whistler waves. Saturn's moons and rings The gas giant planet Saturn has a large group of 60 moons. It also has the largest, most complex and best known ring system in our solar system. Saturn's moon Titan is one of the few moons in the solar system with much of an atmosphere. It is also one of the largest moons in the solar system. Some of Saturn's moons are odd. A giant crater on Mimas makes it look like the Death Star from the Star Wars movies. Lapidus is quite dark on one side and very bright on the other. Hyperion is shaped like a garbage can. Prometheus and Pandora are called the shepherd moons because they herd particles into Saturn's ring. Phobe is very dark and moves in a strange orbit. It may be an asteroid or Kuiper belt object that Saturn's strong gravity captured long ago. The other medium-sized moons of Saturn are Rhea, Dione, 
Tethys, Enceladus, Janus and Epimetus. Some of Saturn's moons are icy moons. Most of the others are small moons which are basically large rocks in space. The poles of Saturn and its moons. There is a lot of strange and interesting stuff going on at both the North and South Poles of Saturn. Two of Saturn's moons also have interesting polar regions. The atmosphere and clouds are quite odd at both of the Saturn's poles. Scientists first spotted a strange hexagonal pattern around the North Pole in the 1980s. In 2006, the Cassini spacecraft found a weird hurricane-like storm swirling around Saturn's South Pole. Saturn, like Earth and some other planets, has a magnetic field. On most planets, the magnetic field is not quite lined up straight with the planet's spin axis. Saturn is unusual in this way. Its spin axis is almost perfectly aligned with its magnetic field. The two are only one degree apart. There are interesting poles on some of Saturn's moons too. Titan is Saturn's largest moon. It has frigid lakes of liquid natural gas at each of its poles. Astronomers have also spotted clouds near Titan's poles. Maybe rain from those clouds fills up the polar lakes. Enceladus is one of Saturn's mid-sized moons. The south pole of Enceladus is another interesting place. Long, Tiger stripe features on the surface are much, much warmer than other places on this icy moon. There are even geysers that spew ice high into the sky above the south pole of Enceladus. Mythology In Hindu mythology, Sunny was identified with the planet Saturn. Sunny's parents were the sun god Surya and Chaya, whose name means shade. For the Hindus, each planet was identified with the god. They believed there were nine planets who formed a planetary council. The planets were the Sun, the Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, an ascending node and a descending node. The ascending and descending nodes, which are the invisible nodes of the Moon's orbit, were considered important enough to be included in the planetary council. The Romans adopted Cronus as the god Saturn. 